Hi everyone and welcome to Jess is Blessed and my prepping cloth diapers video. I know that I've done similar videos in the past but this is a very frequently requested video and since I am in the process of prepping a whole lot of diapers for a new little baby boy who's due any day, I figured now was a perfect time to do an update video on prepping cloth diapers. So if that is a subject that you are interested in learning more about, then definitely stick around. Make sure that you hit the like button, please. It helps my channel so, so much. And with that said, let's just jump into the video. So first of all, prepping cloth diapers is actually pretty straightforward. People have a lot of questions about it, but it's actually pretty simple. So I will put a guide up on the screen, which kind of outlines everything for you. But essentially, what you need to remember is that anything that is just a single layer of PUL, like a cloth diaper cover, a wet bag, anything like that, is only going to require one wash, just like you would do with your typical baby clothing. Also, anything that it has a microfiber core in it or just microfiber inserts like these Bum Genius inserts, anything microfiber, one wash, you're good to go. Now, where you get into where you really need to prep the diapers, actual prepping, is any diapers that are made with natural fibers. So we're talking cotton, bamboo, hemp, or a combination of any of those. If you're in doubt, if it's an insert that you are not sure what's on the inside of it, or if it's a diaper and you're not sure what's on the inside of it, I would err on the edge of caution and wash it more than once. You can also always do an, a quick test to tell whether it's reached its maximum absorbency or not. Now, why you want to prep cloth diapers that are made of natural fibers is that cotton, hemp, and bamboo all contain natural oils in the fibers. So when you get these diapers, there's oil in there that you can't see and poured water on it. It's just going to kind of bead off. It's not going to absorb properly. And you can test this by taking a brand new pre-fold or, um, <clears throat> or bamboo or hemp insert and running water on it. And usually it a little bit might go in, but most of it will bead off and run right off. So what you're doing when you're prepping your diapers is you're washing those oils away. So it's very, very vital to wash and dry your diapers multiple times, up to eight times. A lot of brands are okay to use after a couple, but just remember that your diapers will become more absorbent the more that you wash them until they reach their maximum absorbency, obviously. There is some contention whether you need to dry the diapers in between. I always have. Typically, that's always been the way that I have done it. It has worked very well for me. However, there are people that say that they just wash them four or five times, six times, and then use them. So that is totally up to you. That is your preference. I think that it helps fluff up the fibers and helps draw out more oils to dry the diapers in between. But like I said, that's absolutely your preference. Another question that people often have is whether they can prep their cloth diapers with other laundry. So say you just bought a couple a couple inserts and you don't want to wash these all by themselves and waste all that water and do you know that four or five times you can absolutely throw these in with your other laundry these don't have to be in a load all on their own you can do them with other laundry so absolutely I've done that so many times especially if you just buy one diaper you just get one brand new diaper throw it in with your regular laundry until you've washed it five or six times and it's good to go so absolutely you can wash your diapers with other laundry. Now I'm going to walk you through how I prep my cloth diapers. Now I do have an apartment washer because we live in an apartment, so it's a compact washer. It's a little different than a standard washing machine. However, it works essentially the exact same way. Then I take our diapers and go and use the coin operated laundry for drying if I'm prepping. I did film this probably a week ago, so I may repeat some things, but I'm going to walk you guys through how I prep my diapers and then I will meet back up with you guys at the end to show you the prepped diapers and then we're also going to do a quick little test and see if these diapers are fully prepped or not. I did end up washing these a full cycle five times, washed and dried five times. So we will see if that is enough. Four was not enough. 
for these pre-folds. So I did throw them in for a fifth, but I will meet back up with you in just a few minutes to do that absorbency test. And I am getting very close to having a baby. So I desperately need to start prepping these diapers so that they are ready for our newborn baby. Down here on the bottom, I have a ton of diapers from Green Mountain Diapers. I highly, highly recommend washing as many times as you can before your baby wears the diapers because the more you wash them, the more absorbent they will be. Now we are going to pull out the diapers that I need to prep, which is going to be a lot of diapers. Um a lot of diapers okay so for prepping i know i'm going to need to prep these bamboo flats i'm going to need to prep all of these diapers from noble bb which are pre-flats i'm going to need to prep some of these diapers from petite crown and some of the inserts that they sent me as well and some of these up here on the top shelf which I think this diaper right diaper, I think it has a hemp, I think it has a bamboo. Um, well, it's going to have to be lanolized. Um, I'm probably not going to do the covers right now. Um, I'm just trying to prep the diapers that actually need to start being washed and dried multiple times. So I'm gonna pull all these diapers out that need to be prepped and I will meet back up with you. So now to prep my cloth diapers, I am using a compact apartment washer. So this isn't a standard, you know, regular washing machine, but it does work exactly the same as far as the wash cycle. Basically, these are all diapers that are natural fiber diapers. And so these are all, or they have natural fibers inside of them. And so, so these are all going to require three to four or more washes. I have always used Gain Original Powder for all of my cloth diaper laundry. And it has never ever steered me wrong. Tide has enzymes in it that instantaneously gave my babies a rash. So I have stuck with Gain Powder. I highly recommend using a powder laundry detergent. And don't be afraid of using laundry detergent. There is myths surrounding cloth diapers and detergent. And just use the standard amount that you would use in a normal soiled load of laundry. And don't try to use less. So you do want to use detergent to wash away the oils in the diapers. The natural oils, that's what we're washing away. So I use about half little less than half of a scoop. I will fill this up with water and I will be washing these diapers. So this is step one of prepping. So you don't have to add anything else. There's nothing else fancy you have to do. I will do the full 15 minutes. So just do your standard regular wash and I am using hot water and that is it. So I will meet up with you once these are done washing. Okay, so now that the diapers are washed for their first wash, I am throwing them in the dryer. We have coin-operated laundry at my apartment, and so I am going to be using the dryer, and I will be drying them on the high heat with cool down. So I am going to start this up, and then as soon as they're done, I'm going to throw them back in the washer. Okay, so these were all diapers that I felt were sufficiently prepped after four washes. Now these ones were not quite ready, I didn't feel like. So I did throw them in for a fifth wash. There is some Petite Crown in here, some Noble BB, and some Blessed Berry Bums. So we're just going to test out the absorbency and that is super simple. Just turn on your water. And then we're just gonna give them a little test and see. Now see, look, that just soaked right in. Awesome, so that is adequately prepped. Try that side, just soaked right in. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to try this Noble BB. This is a pre-flat, so adorable. And I'm just gonna do a little bit so that it doesn't get it soaking wet. 
Yep, soaked right in, absolutely ready for a little baby to wear. Now onto the pre-folds. These generally take the most prepping. And when you get them, they'll be all nice and flat. It is totally normal for them to quilt up like this and get kind of puffy and poofy and with these lines and bumps on them. Totally normal, that's what they're supposed to do. And it looks like that fifth wash did the trick. So these are all ready to go. Then you can also, of course, always do that with any of the other diapers that you have prepped. So one I actually had a question about was this Grovia. Uh, these sometimes take a little bit, these newborn Grovia, to prep. So let's see how it is. Oh yeah, it's totally fine. Totally fine. And like I said, I did these ones four times. Yep, totally fine. Soaking right in. So these are all prepped and ready to go. I have almost all of his diapers ready and prepped for the hospital. So I am very excited about that. And yeah, there they are. That is how I prep my cloth diapers. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. A lot of this is just second nature to me at this point. And so I really hope that these videos are helpful for you guys that may be just starting out. Now, if you guys have any questions, I know my comment section is disabled. That was from YouTube. They did that to a whole bunch of channels. I didn't disable my comments. I love hearing from you guys and I love engaging with you and answering your questions. So if you do have any questions, you can always hop up to the community tab which is up above on Jess is Blessed and you can also hop over to Jess is Blessed on Facebook or Instagram and all of my social media links affiliate links coupon codes and a whole lot more is always in the description box down below so you can check that out and I would love to hear from you guys I would love to hear how you guys prep your diapers if you guys do it differently than me if you guys have any tips or tricks or hints and of course, if you have any questions, I would love to answer those for you. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps the channel so much. Subscribe if you are new here. There's going to be a ton of cloth diapering content coming up as new little guy gets here. And I will see you guys very soon for the next video. So until next time, good night, goodbye, and stay blessed.